everyone, welcome back with me again with my channel dengan channelnya Dapur ini. Hari ini kita mau belajar lagi tentang perkalian dengan jari-jari. Today we're going to learn about multiplication with our finger again. Video ini dikhususkan untuk teman-teman yang mempunyai anak kecil atau untuk keperluan mengajar anak yang sulit sekali menghafal. Kita bisa menghafal dengan jari, misalnya dengan sistem interval. Ketika dia stuck di tengah, dia harus ngulangnya tuh susah sekali. Misalnya nih ya, 8, 16, 24, eh dia lupa. Dia harus ngulang lagi dari sini atau di, di 24 dia harus ngitung 24 tambah 8, 25, 26, sekian, sekian, sekian. Itu kesulitannya. Sehingga hari ini kita akan menggunakan jari kita untuk menghitung. Yuk kita mulai. Sekarang jarinya sudah saya kasih angka mulai dari 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yang sebelasnya satu lagi juga mulai dari 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ingat ya mulai dari 6 ya bukan dari 1 ya. Kita ambil contoh ya. 7 dikali 8. So 6, 7. Ditahan 7 dikali 8. 6, 7, 8. Oke, okay. yang sebelah sini kita ambil angka yang 7, sebelah sini kita ambil angka yang 8. Ya, ini 8, yang ini 7. Perhatikan baik-baik ya. 6, 7 kita tahan. Yang sebelah sini 6, 7, 8 kita tahan. Jari yang ditekuk nilainya adalah puluhan. Jari yang tidak ditekuk, yang masih tersisa ini nilainya satuan. Lalu apa yang terjadi? Jari yang tekuk kita tinggal hitung aja Oke okay, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 kan Lalu jari yang ini kita kalikan Ini berapa? 1, 2, 3 3 dikali 2 sama dengan 6 Sehingga 7 dikali 8 7 dikali 8 Kita tekuk di 7 Tekuk di 8 adalah 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 3 kali 2, 6, 56. Tadang, gampang kan? Yuk kita ulang ya, nilai yang lain. Misalnya 8 dikali 8, kita lihat jari 8 dikali 8, 6, 7, 8, di hold, ditekuk, 8 dikali 8. 6, 7, 8 Oke, okay, 8 dikali 8 ya 8 dikali 8 Oke, okay, ditekuk Jari yang ditekuk nilainya adalah 10 Berarti 10, 20, 30 40, 50, 60 60 Jari yang lurus dikalikan 2 2 dikali 2 Sama dengan 4 Jadi 60 4. Lagi ya Gimana kalau 6 dikali 9 Ini kan 6 Tekuk 6 nya Dikali 9 Mana 9 nya 6, 7, 8, 9 Ditekuk deh Jari yang tekuk ditekuk berapa 5 kan berarti 50 Jari yang ini berapa 4 dikali 1 4 dikali 1 adalah 4 Jadi 54 Sehingga 6 dikali 9 6 ditekuk 9 ditekuk yang jari yang ditekuk jumlahnya 50 jari yang lurus dikalikan 4 kali 1 4 54 Oke okay. sekarang kalau misalnya ada e, sisa gimana misalnya ya 6 dikali 7 Oke okay. 6 dikali 7 Jari yang ditekuk 6, jari sebelahnya yang ditekuk adalah 7, 6, 7. Oke, okay? lihat ya, jari yang ditekuk nilainya 10, berarti yang ditekuk kan 3 nih, 1, 2, 3, berarti 30 kan. Jari yang lurus ada berapa? Ada 4 dan 3, berarti 4 dikali 3. 4 dikali 3 berapa? 12 kan. Oke, okay, kita tulis aja ya biar nggak bingung. 6, Dikali 7 Oke okay. 
6 dikali 7. Puluhannya berapa ini? 30 kan? Oke, kita mulai dari satuannya dulu deh ya. Satuannya berapa? 4 dikali 3, 12 kan? Kita tulis di sini 2 simpen 1. Oke, okay. nah sekarang yang ditekuk puluhannya ada 30. 30 taruh di bagian puluhan, ingat tadi ada simpen 1, berarti 3 tambah 1 adalah 4. Jadi 6 dikali 7 adalah 42. Now look at my fingers. I put numbers on all my fingers. It start from 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the other fingers also put number 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. What we're going to do is, for example, we're going to multiply 7 by 8. So, one hand we just bend the 7. 7. This is 7, right? So, we bend the 7. 7 multiplied by 8. On the other hand, we find the number 8, which is 6, 7, 8. So, we bend number 8 there. So, if you see how many fingers that are bent, 5, right? The bent finger... is about tens so we have five tens here now the straight finger will be ones what would you have to do with the straight fingers you have to multiply the other hands with the other hands i have three straight fingers on my hand here and i have another two fingers on the other hand so three multiplied by two will be six so that means seven multiplied by eight which is seven seven multiplied by eight You hold number 7 and you hold number 8 the other hand you will have 5 tens and 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 so 7 multiplied by 8 will be 56 okay now let's start another number for example you will have 8 multiplied by 8 what you're going to do then you're going to find the number 8 on the other hand which is here I have 6 7 8 so I hold number 8 then another finger I also find the number 8 which is here so I'm going to hold 6 7 8 then I have 8 multiplied by 8 then I hold the fingers look at my fingers that band I have 6 band finger right so I will have 6 tens that means 60 Now, what about the straight finger? I have two on the other hand and another two on the other hand. So, I'm going to multiply the straight finger two multiplied by two, which is four. Now, let's count it. Eight, eight multiplied by eight. That means eight multiplied by eight is 64. Let's start with another number. For example, six multiplied by nine. So, I bend number 6 and I also hold number 9. I hold number 6 and I hold number 9 on my other hand. Now, see how many fingers that bend? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now, what about the straight finger? Look at my the other hand. I have four straight finger and one straight finger on the other hand. We're going to multiply that. So four multiplied by one is four. That means six multiplied by nine will be ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, fifty, and four multiplied by one is four. Then fifty-four. Okay, isn't it easy? Let's get another number. For example, we have the ones that will carry or we have to regroup the ones into the tens. Let's do it. For example, 6 multiplied by 7. So, I hold the 6 over here, 6, then I will hold another number 7 on the other hand. 6 multiplied by 7. Okay? So how many tens do I have? I have three band finger. That means I have three tens, right? Okay. Let's count the straight finger now. I have four straight finger on my this hand, and I have another three straight finger on the other hand. We're going to multiply four multiply by three, which is twelve, right? Okay. Twelve. So I will have six multiply by seven. Okay, you hold the six on the other hand, and you hold 
Number seven, on the other hand. So you will have 30, right? The band finger is going to be your 10. So 10, 20, 30. Just write three tens over here. Now what about your ones? Okay, you will have four over here and you will have three over there. We're going to multiply four and three, which is 12. Then we're going to write 12. Two at the ones and carry one. So we're going to calculate this together. One that carry from 12 with the three tens is going to be 42. So that means 6 multiplied by 7 will be 42. This video is dedicated for those kids that very hard to memorize the multiplication table. Let's have the greater number. What about if we have 9 multiplied by 9? 9 multiplied by 9. Okay, let's have a look. What number did you have to fold? Of course, number 9 over here. Okay, this is number 9. This is number 9, so you hold number 9. Then, the other hand, you fold number 9 over here. 9. That means you will have how many tens? This one, this one, this one is going to be your tens. So, how many tens? 10s, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So, you will have 8 ones. Then, what about the straight finger? We multiply that with 1 multiply with 1, which is 1. So, 9 multiplied by 9 will be how many tens? 8 tens over here, 8 tens, then 1. So, 9 multiplied by 9 will be 81. This is it. I hope this video will explain you and getting you more knowledge about the mathematics for kids. Hope this video is very helpful to you. Don't forget to give any comments. Don't forget to give your thumbs up if you like it. And maybe you can share to anyone. So this video is going to give them more knowledge. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And bye-bye. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.